This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 21, Why Worry About Sampling Variability? Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students understand that a meaningful difference between two sample means is one that is greater than would have been expected due to just sampling variability. This lesson is the first of three lessons in which you are asked to compare the means of two populations. In this lesson, you will first consider random samples from two populations that have the same mean. Sampling variability must be considered when deciding if there is evidence that the two population means are actually the same or different, and this idea is developed throughout the exercises. You will then repeat the process by examining two populations that have different means. Pause the video and copy the essential question. Why is it important to look at the difference of sample means? There are three bags, bag A, bag B, and bag C, with 100 numbers in each bag. You and your classmates will investigate the population mean, the mean of all 100 numbers, in each bag. Each set of numbers has the same range. However, the population means of each set may or may not be the same. We will see who can uncover the mystery of the bags. To begin your investigation, start by selecting a random sample of 10 numbers from bag A. Remember to mix the numbers in the bag first, then select one number from the bag. Do not put it back in the bag. Write the numbers in the chart below. Continue selecting one number at a time until you have selected 10 numbers. Create a dot plot of your sample 10 numbers. Use a dot to represent each number in the sample. So our lowest number is 9 and our highest number is 20. So we've got our dot plot ranging from 8 to 20. And put one dot for each number. If you have more than one number, remember to stack the dots. Pause the video, complete your dot plot. Next, check to make sure that you've done it correctly. Question B. Do you think the mean of all the numbers in bag A might be 10? Why or why not? The mean of 10. So look at the range of numbers. Our sample variability goes from 9 to 20. Do you think that the mean would be 10? The data does not center at all around 10, so I don't think the mean will be 10. Based on the dot plot, so this is the dot plot from the previous page. What would you estimate the mean of the numbers in bag A to be, and how did you make your estimate? I will estimate the mean of the numbers in the bag based on the center of the data, or around the value of the data is clustered. One of those ways. So the center of the data, we have 10 dots, the center of the data, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The center of the data would be right about here. I'm going to say that the mean, or I'm going to estimate that the mean is about 16. We have a cluster of numbers up here that are high, and we have several that are spread out here. So I'm estimating it to be 16. Do you think your sample mean will be close to the population mean? So 16 is my sample mean, and do I think it's close to the population mean? Think about this and write your response. Is your sample mean the same as your neighbor's sample mean? Why or why not? No. When selecting a sample at random, different students will get different sets of numbers. This is sampling variability. Repeat the process by selecting a random sample of 10 numbers from bag B. Create a dot plot of your sample of 10 numbers. Use a dot to represent each of the numbers in the sample. So I'm going to number my dot plot, and I need to go a little higher this time because I have some 23s in the set. Remember, if there, a number appears more than once, to stack the dots. Pause the video and complete the dot plot. Compare your answer and make sure it is correct. Question B. Based on your dot plot, do you think the mean of the numbers in bag B is the same or different from the mean of the numbers in bag A? Explain your thinking. 
A way to think about this is that you want to compare the dot plots to see if they're similar. If they are similar, I would expect the mean to be similar. If they're quite different, I would expect the mean to be different. I want to compare the two dot plots. So I've just got them both right here, the bag A and the bag B. And I want to look for the variability. There is less variability in bag A. It goes from 9 to 20. I'm going to mark the center of each dot plot. So the center of this dot plot is between, oh, right about there, because we have five dots on the left and five dots on the right. And for bag B, the center of the dot plot is right about here. Five dots on the left, five dots on the right. So you'll notice that the center is very similar. Since the centers are similar, I would expect the means to be similar as well. Repeat the process once more by selecting a random sample of 10 numbers from bag C. Create a dot plot of your sample of 10 numbers. Use a dot to represent each of the numbers in the sample. Pause the video and complete your, your dot plot. Double check to make sure that it is correct. Based on your dot plot, do you think the mean of the numbers in bag C is the same or different from the mean of the numbers in bag A? Explain your thinking. Remember to look for the center of data, also for the variability. Notice that sample A, the dots are clustered between 9 and 20. In bag C, they are, there is more variability from 2 to 20 or to 19. So let's look for the center. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so, and 5 on that side. So the center is right about there at 16 or 17. And then for this one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the center, or you'd have 5 on the left and 5 on the right. The center here is much lower than it is for bag A. If your center of data is different and your variability is different, would you expect the means to be the same? I think the mean will be less in bag C because the center of data is quite different and less than bag A. Question four. Are your dot plots of the three bags the same as the dot plots of other students in your class? Why or why not? Remember that different students generally get different samples when they select a sample from bags, so the dot plots will vary from student to student. Calculate the mean of the numbers for each of the samples from bag A, bag B, and bag C. Remember when you're cal calculating the mean that you're going to add up each number and then divide by how many numbers there are. For example, for bag C, you would add together two plus 2, plus 4, plus 5, etc. Add all of these numbers and then divide by how many numbers there are. There are 10 numbers. Pause the video and complete that activity for bag A, bag B, and bag C. Check your answers to make sure that they are correct. Are the sample means you calculated the same as the sample means of other members of your class? Why or why not? Now, if your dot plots are different, if your samples are different, are the means going to be different? My sample means are different from my classmates. This is a key concept. This is sampling variability. The chance variability that happens from one sample to another when repeated samples are taken from the same population. Remember, when you're drawing a number out of a bag, your neighbor may draw a different number out of the bag. Question B, how do your sample means for bag A and bag B compare? The sample mean for bag A is smaller than the sample mean from bag B. Calculate the difference of sample mean for bag A minus sample mean for bag B. Fifteen point four for bag A minus sixteen point three for bag B. 
we have a difference of negative 0 0.9. Based on this difference, can you be sure which bag has the larger, larger population mean? Why or why not? No, you cannot be sure. It is possible that you could get a sample mean that is larger than the sample mean from bag A, and then get a sample mean that is smaller than the population mean of bag B, or vice versa. So you cannot be sure. Question six. Based on the class dot plots of the sample means, do you think the mean of the numbers in bag A and the mean of the numbers in bag B are different? So let's take a look at the dot plots. That's from bag A and bag B. Do you think that their means are different? Notice the variability. There is a bit bigger variability in B. The center of data, would it be about the same or different? Well, we looked at that in a previous question and we found it to be about the same. The dot plots for A and B are similar. I think bag A and bag B means will be similar, but not exactly the same. Next, do you think the mean of the numbers in bag A and the numbers of the, the mean of the numbers in bag C are different? Explain your answer. So here is the dot plot for bag C and we're comparing that to bag A. The A and C dot plots are quite different. I think bag A and bag C means will be different as well. Number seven, based on the difference between the sample mean of bag A and the sample mean of bag B that you calculated in exercise five, do you think the two populations, A and B, have different means? Or do you think the two population means might be the same? So our difference was 0 0.9 and it was negative. I think they might be different, but close to each other because the difference of the sample mean was close to zero. It was less than one. Question eight. Based on this difference, can you be sure which bag has the larger population mean? Why or why not? So we know that bag B had the larger sample mean. Can you be sure that that one has the larger population mean? It is possible that you could get a sample mean that is larger than the population mean of bag A, and then get a sample mean that is smaller than the population mean of bag B, or vice versa. Question nine, is your difference in sample means the same as your neighbor's differences? Why or why not? No, as the samples will vary due to sampling variability, so will the means of the sample. Question 10. Plot your differences of the means on a class dot plot. Describe the distribution of differences plotted on the graph. Remember to discuss center and spread. So we have the data from 30 students, and remember this is not the mean. This is the difference in the mean of A and B. This is what our class differences look like. We have a variability going from a difference of almost negative 5 to a difference of almost positive 5. Many of the differences are off by 2 or less, and the variability is from 0 to 5. Let's look at that. The variability goes from negative 5 to positive 5 but many of the differences are only off by two or less. Many of the differences are right there. So the population of numbers in bag A is identical to the population of numbers in bag B. In other words, bag A and bag B had exactly the same numbers in them. Question 11. Why are the differences in the sample means of bag A and bag B not zero? For the difference in sample means to be zero, the sample means must also be the same value. This would rarely happen when selecting random samples. 
Does the class dot plot contain differences that were relatively far away from zero? If yes, why do you think this happened? Well, we had some that were as far as five away. One student had a higher mean than most as well as a lower mean than most, so the difference was larger than most. Question 13. Suppose you will take a sample from a new bag. How big would the difference in the sample mean for bag A and the sample mean for the new bag, in other words, mean A minus the mean of a new bag, have to be before you would be convinced that the population mean for the new bag is different than the population mean of bag A. Use the class dot plot of differences in sample means for bags A and B, which have an equal population mean, to help you answer this question. The difference would need to be relatively far away from zero, such as five, because the difference noted in the class dot plot are the result of sampling from bags that have the same numbers in them, clustering around a difference of 1.5 or less. The differences in the class dot plot occur because of sampling variability, the chance variability from one sample to another. A meaningful difference between two sample means is one that is unlikely to have occurred by chance if the population means are equal. In other words, the difference is one that is greater than one would have expected just due to sampling variability. Calculate the sample mean of bag A minus the sample mean of bag C. Question 15. Plot your difference on a class dot plot. So we have mean A minus mean C. Our dot plot looks like this. How do the centers of the class dot plots for mean A minus mean B and mean A minus mean C compare? So mean A minus mean B, that was on the previous page. The center of the dot plot is at about zero. Then for mean A minus mean C, well, the dot plot is right up here. And it varies. And where is the center? The center of this dot plot is at about five. Exercise 17. Each bag has a population mean that is either 10.5 or 14.5. State what you think the population mean is for each bag. Explain your choice of each bag. Okay, write your prediction. What do you think is the population mean for bag A? Is it 10.5 or 14.5? For bag B, is it 10.5 or 14.5? For bag C, is it 10.5 or 14.5? Remember that bag A and bag B had higher sample means. The answers are 14.5 for A, 14.5 for B, and 10.5 for C. And my selections are based on the class dot plots and the sample means we calculated in the exercises. Remember to think about sampling variability, the chance variability from sample to sample. Beware of making decisions based on the fact that two sample means are not equal. Consider the distribution of the difference in sample means when making a decision.